Hi, it's Wendy at the library. Um, we're going to be doing a gummy bear experiment. Um, in your kit, you'll receive two packages of gummy bears. We're trying to get at least four pair for you to work with for the experiment. And if there's some extra left over, you're more than happy. Well, you know, can you eat it up? Um, but make sure you save the eight, the four pair that you need. Um, in your kit, you'll receive, receive the gummy bears, four little cups. They're great because they're four ounces and it calls for a half cup of water for each one. Um, you'll receive this little experiment information sheet for you and your parents. Um, then if there's any questions or it just tells you how to proceed, just like this video in case you don't watch the video again. Um, there's a little data sheet if you want to keep track of what you're observing and um, have that information for later. And we've given you a laminated sheet for the actual um, experiment that once the gummy bears are soaked, you place a regular gummy bear here and the soaked one next to it to see how it's changed. So um, this is laminated because if you got a wet gummy bear on it, it would be very pretty. So I'm going to turn um, my camera down and move my stuff away. So um, I have one package. Uh, I have my gummy bears that I've opened. Um, and I'm going to see ahead of time what I have for, I do have a pair of green. That's great. Um, you might have three pair of reds. They might be okay. But I just think having the same color next to each other really lets you see um, how they change or not. If they're not quite the same color, it's not gonna hurt it that you have different colors next to each other. Um, it's just, I think it's neat if you can pair them up. Ooh, here's a pair of orange, and I do have a pair of red. That's great. And I have two left over, so I'm going to eat those ones myself. Um, now, I'm taking my cups, and I'm going to label the cups um, for what I have. Our first cup is going to be plain water. The second cup is salt water, and I've already dissolved my salt in it. Um you're going to want to make sure that you thoroughly dissolve any additives to your cups that you do. Um, the third cup is going to be sugar water, so I haven't labeled that, but just take a marker or a pencil um, so that you aren't going to be confused later on, just in case somebody has to move them. Um, and then the fourth cup is my choice. Um, it says do something with no water. Do something entirely different. Maybe a, a half a cup of milk or soda or vinegar. Um, think of some other liquid that you can maybe soak your gummy bear in. So I have my four. One, two, three, four. And what we would do is um, take one tablespoon of salt. You'll need the salt and sugar from home and your, your liquid of choice. Um, one tablespoon of sugar is in here. And I ran my tap water pretty warm, as warm as I could do it from the sink. That will help my initial um, melting of the sugar. And then you just have to keep stirring, stirring, stirring until you don't see any more granules of sugar at the bottom. Um, it probably took a minute or two or whatever for it to melt all my salt. It wasn't a long, long time. Um, just to, but keep stirring and then let it sit. And oops, I got a piece of fuzz in my water. Oh, here we go. Um, let it sit and then we'll just see if there's any more granules at the bottom. And then we will take these gummy bears um, and fill this one with water. I don't have the one for my choice because I don't have anything extra with me today at work, but um, my gummy bear, my water, I would put in. For the salt water, I'd put one in. For the sugar water, and look at that. Um, I think all my green, yep, it's all dissolved. There's nothing on the bottom. So my sugar, there we go. And then I have just the one of choice. And if I had done soda even, I could put that in there and put there. And you wanna leave these ones on your chart because after a while, when you take out to compare, you don't wanna um, mix them up. You could even do a little roll of tape on the bottom and just tape it there so it just stays there and then you won't lose it. So that's going to be how you're gonna start your experiment. Um, in our water, is our one that we can compare everything else to as plain water. See if it grows, see if it expands. Um, 
this experiment explores osmosis, and that's the chemistry, chemistry term for water that moves through a barrier, like in our gummy bears. Our gummy bears feel really smooth, and um, it's they're made kind of like you make jello at home, and it's made with gelatin, and gelatin gives us that good barrier. Some other natural gummy bears might not have been made with gelatin, so we had to make sure we got the right ones that have gelatin in them, but um, they are made like we when we make jello at home, you boil it down, you put um, jello, gelatin and sugar and flavorings in, and then they put them in the molds and let them dry and they shrink down. So it's, it's given it a nice little barrier on the outside, that, that rubbery membrane on the outside. It's called a semi-permeable membrane. Um, and that means like on the very, if you went into a microscope, the gummy bears on its surface, you would be able to see teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny holes um, that we can't really see here, but those small water particles can get through. Um, and we're just going to see what happens. Osmosis is how the water gets through that barrier and what it does to it. So, and you know, you can even guess ahead of time. Um, we don't have that on our data chart, but if you want to guess at the beginning what you think plain water will do, what you think salt water will do, that's the one that's interesting to me, um, what you think sugar water and your soda or vinegar, whatever you have here. But then um, measure them say that this is three quarters of an inch high, put your beginning measurement down, and after 12 hours, take them out and put them next to their partners and measure them again and see if they grew taller. Um, I also put a mark uh, column here for texture. And um, I mean, this one's pretty rubbery feeling. Some of them may stay rubbery. Some of them may, I don't know if they'll fall apart but they'll get really squishy. You can tell real squishy or a little squishy, same, you know. Then we want you to put them right back in the cups again and wait 24 hours. So the next day, if you did your experiment at two o'clock, the next day at two o'clock, check them again and do the same things and see if it changes again. Some things may change a little bit and stay the same. We don't know. So um, that's a really great way to judge how your experiment went. Um, see if your gummy bears grew and if it was a lot and which one grew the most and which one grew the least. And um, it's just really fun to see what happens to candy. You know, most candy, if you put them in water, would dissolve. They don't have that barrier, that semi-permeal barrier that the gummy bears have because they're not made with gelatin. They're just made with sugar and water and flavoring. So um, gummy bears are pretty unique that way. So I hope you have fun. I hope you have a couple gummy bears left over and you enjoy. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.